Hi there guys, it's Sina, and I'm going to help you out today on how to make a 3D photo cube effect. Very simple, not too hard. Um, here we go. So I'm on CS4 by the way. File, new, and I have it at custom, thousand width for width and height, and resolution is at 300. Click OK. Now we're going to make the background black so you can better see what I'm doing. And then create a new layer. Then go up top to 3D, new shape, cube. Okay. And then we want to rotate it so that at least three sides of the cube is showing. Mm, I said I do it more like this. Yeah, that's a little better. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Right, there we go. Then we want to get at least, well, three photos, right? You could put more, but let's keep it basic. Three photos. So, um, now where did I save those photos? Here we go. Three photos of my cat. Mm hmm. Okay, so control A, control C, and go back to the cube, control V, control T. Yes, I am on Windows. All the Mac persons know it would be command instead of control, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're in control. We control T it. It's currently selected um, for transformation. Right click. Then go to distort. Do you see where I'm going here? It's not that hard. So you just fit it to the side, the edges of the cube for each side. Right? Do it as neat as possible, of course. Want to have some pride in your work. Mm, I think we got it. Let's see. Yeah? Nice. Let's go to the other photo. Same thing. Control A. Control C. Bring it back to the cube. Control V. Control T. Scale it a little bit first. Right click. Distort. And repeat the same process. Matching it up with the edges of the cube. No, I'm not going super fast. I want to be a bit diligent. Plus, I haven't had my caffeine yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, did we get that one in one go? Let's see. Apply. I think we can fix that a little bit better here. Yep. And the last photo, here we go. Control A, Control C, Control V, Control T. <laughs> Funny photo, right? And right click and distort. We're almost done. There we go, and here we have our uh, photo cube. Of course, you choose whatever photos. Doesn't have to be of your cat, but you know when you're all done, and you have it how you want. File and save as. You know the deal. All right, that's it. I hope that helped you out. Bye.